What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today, kind of have a different setup. We are going to be doing a DIY project and making a egg crate turtle basking platform. This material already might look familiar to some of you. There's a few other people who have done videos on how to make basking platforms like this. Um, and I just thought I wanted to try my hand at it. This will actually be a basking area that I will be using in my next video, which is going to be really, really fun. So definitely stay tuned for that next video because I'm going to be like making a kiddie pool for my turtle and I'll be putting this basking platform in it when it comes time. But anyways, enough spoilers for the future videos. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. So today, making a DOI basking platform with egg crate. All right, so let's talk about the supplies you're going to need. So first of all, we have the most important piece. This is egg crate. If you ask them for that little plastic grid that you use to put under lights and say egg crate, they should be able to help you find it if you talk to the right person. I kind of found it in the lumber section towards the very back of the store. It wasn't actually with the lighting stuff, but it is used for lighting. So you should be able to find it at the hardware store. And so for this whole sheet, it costs about $16, I do believe. And you actually get a piece that's about two feet by four feet, but you can use that to make multiple different basking areas, especially if you're not gonna try to make them too big. Second thing you're gonna need is a PVC pull pipe at the hardware store they do sell like five foot sections it is a half inch PVC pipe that is the size we're gonna be using we don't need anything bigger so go ahead and get yourself a five foot long and half inch diameter PVC pipe next we're gonna need our PVC joints our PVC connectors um, our couplers and our elbows and so for these you might see that some people actually use the elbows that are like three ways and so it goes one two and then three but I am just gonna try doing it with just these single elbows because it was a lot cheaper so this elbow is only 41 cents whereas for one of those three-way elbows I believe it was like a dollar 48 or maybe like a dollar 50 but it was a lot more expensive to get those three-way elbows so I'm gonna try and see if I can get away with these little elbows that only have two openings instead of three oops okay so it's a little bit later in recording and I was making the basking area and you know I kind of lied you cannot use these elbows just these elbows because my engineering kind of sucks and you have to use these because it will be more structurally sound and actually able to support the turtle so I lied don't be cheap don't try to get elbows don't be cheap like me but instead get the triple the triple elbow things that have you see one two three and these are quite a bit more expensive but that's okay because we're gonna be using this so that we can make sure we can actually hold the turtle these won't work so anyways so get yourself four PVC elbows for this project and remember these are half inch because we're using half inch pipe so you want half inch elbows next thing you're gonna want is four. I think they call these couplers and so basically what we're gonna use these for is the feet to make sure that the PVC will stand flat on whatever surface we're putting it on because sometimes when you cut the PVC it's not very flat and so these will be able to help even them out and then the final piece of hardware you're gonna need are zip ties and so you can go with different sizes I have these little tiny ones and also these big ones so I actually don't know which one I'll end up using maybe I'll even end up using a mix but go ahead and get yourself some zip ties this is what you will be using to secure the egg crate to the PVC and so that is it for all the actual supplies we will be needing to make this but then we will have a couple tools that we will need so first things first you will want like a this is a file or a rasp some people call it different things it basically has like it's rough so you can file stuff down we'll actually be using this to break slash cut our I'm already forgetting what it's called, egg crate. You can also use like some other type of clipper or cutter or scissors to cut the egg crate, but I found that this is the fastest way. And then to cut the PVC pipe, there's many different ways to do it. You can use a band saw, you can use a table saw, you can even use clippers if they're like circular. This is what I'm gonna use because it's a lot faster and also a lot neater than using a um, saw. So I have these clippers that I'm gonna use to cut the PVC. And then finally, the last two things you're gonna need are some of the most important things you could ever have for a DIY project. And that is a tape measure so that you can measure how big or long you need things. And then also you are going to want a pencil 
to mark out where you're going to be cutting things or how long they're going to need to be. All right, so that is all of these supplies and tools you are going to need for this project. And so now let's get into how you actually are going to make this. Okay, so first thing we have to do in order to get started with this DIY project is cutting our egg crate to size. So how we're gonna do this is you are just first gonna measure out how big of a piece of egg crate you're gonna want for this basking platform. Make it proportionate to the size of your turtle. Give them a good amount of space. Today I am gonna be doing a one foot by one foot square, so 12 inches by 12 inches. And so I'm gonna go ahead and measure that. And then I'm gonna mark the square before it ends because you're gonna end up cutting off this piece here. And then I'm gonna measure over here, do another 12 inches. All right, so now to cut it, you're gonna find where you marked it. And just a quick warning, this is gonna be a little bit messy. So you might wanna do it outside or a garage so that you can clean up your mess afterwards. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find where you wanna break it. And then you're just gonna wrap it all the way down. Oh, and sometimes you'll miss, but that's okay. And so there you see, we have just split our egg crate in half. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your file and break off any of the extra sharp edges so you don't have anything that could poke your turtle or hurt your turtle. You're just gonna go down and smooth it out all the way. And as you can see, there's now a bunch of this little plastic all over the place, but we'll be able to sweep that up later. And then now you can go ahead and do the other spot where you marked it, if you can find it. Here we go. And now you're just gonna clean up the edges. And it does take a little bit of practice to like not break the other portions of the plastic that you don't wanna break. Like you can see here, I actually broke off <laughs> this little section here on accident, but that's okay. Just make sure that there's no sharp edges on it that could hurt your turtle. Okay, so now that you have your egg crate, you can decide how big you want your ramp to be and go ahead and break the egg crate to make it to the size of ramp you want it to be. Okay, so now that we have our egg crate all cut up, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting our PVC pipe. As for the height you want your basking platform to be, that's totally up to you. If you're gonna be using this like a platform, I would recommend making the height of the platform about four inches at least below the rim of your tank, especially if you don't already have a lid, so that there won't be a chance of your turtle escaping. Actually, maybe give it a good six inches even. But keep in mind with the platform, the shorter you make it, the harder it will be to raise the water level because the way this platform works is, is, is it's stationary. So keep that in mind when picking how long you want to make the legs of your basking platform. And so I'm gonna do 10 inch legs, so let's go ahead and measure that. And you're gonna wanna make four poles for the legs that are all the same length. Also do keep in mind that when you add the couplings, this will add half an inch to three quarters of an inch more to your height. If you want it to be an exact height, then make sure you factor in the height of the couplings. Okay, so now we have marks every 10 inches and we're gonna go ahead and cut them with these pliers or cutters or clippers, whatever you call them. So we're using these clippers to cut our PVC. Okay, so this is gonna be the first leg. Okay, so before we cut this next one, always measure, cut, measure, cut, always measure twice, cut once. So we're gonna make sure that this is still 10 inches. And yes, we're still at 10 inches, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this next piece. Also try to make sure you keep it straight as you cut down. That way it'll be a straight cut all the way across. Next piece. Okay. So now we have our four legs. So now you have your last piece of PVC pipe. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna cut it you know, directly in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and see how much we have left. And we have 20, just shy of 20 and a half inches. And so you just wanna make sure that half of that length of your final piece, you just wanna make sure that that's not longer than one of the sides of your rectangle piece of egg crate. And our egg crate is 11 inches by 12 inches. And so we're gonna be totally fine there. We are gonna go ahead and cut this at 10 and a quarter. 
All right. So now we have two that are almost the same height. And now I have this last little piece and we're gonna cut this one in half as well to make another piece of cross section. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this one in half and then we can start assembling it. All right, and so these are about even. Okay, what we're gonna do is take two of the legs and place the triple elbow onto it. So go ahead and put your triple on there. And you can do that same thing with the other one. Okay, so now you have two legs with triples on them. Now you can either take one long bar or one sharp short bar if they're gonna be different lengths. You can see here are my crossbars. These ones are a little bit shorter. I'm gonna take one of my short bars and place it right in here. And then you can hit it in to make sure it's in there firmly. And then go ahead and attach that to the other side. And make sure that they're both, there's two holes facing out the same way. Don't put it in like this, where the holes are facing opposite. It doesn't work like that. Put it the same way, and that way we know we're on the right track. So we have a short pull here, we have legs here, we have our elbows here. Both of them are pointing in the same direction. Now we're gonna take the two longer poles and insert them. And so we just have to make sure we're very careful that we're putting the same lengths going the same direction because otherwise it will not fit properly. All right, so now as you can see, we have these two longer poles coming out in the same direction. And now we're gonna go ahead and attach these to our other little joints here. So, now we have half of this done and half of this done. So what we're gonna do next is to make this easy on ourselves, we are gonna put this short piece in between these two legs that don't have anything attached. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, now the fun part, we are gonna just attach both sides together, like so. And now, as you can see, we have a very nice and sturdy base to work with and the bottoms are flat. Now, the reason I leave these open is because when you fill these with water, they won't float and the air won't get trapped and you can just fill it up with water when you put it into the water. Now we have the last step, which is zip tying. So you are gonna go ahead and take your egg crate piece and place it in a way that looks the most fitting and just go ahead and grab your zip ties and start zip tying them on there. There's really no wrong way to do this, as long as it stays secure. Once you feel comfortable with how your egg crate is zip tied on, I did it with only four zip ties, but once you feel confident that the egg crate is zip tied on very well, you can go ahead and start adding your ramp. All right, okay, so I just did the ramp. And so I realized the way you do the ramp and the way you zip tie it is very, very important. And it will affect how well this ramp will actually work for you. So here we have the ramp. You're gonna take the square part of this little zip tie, put it through this first hole here and the first hole here. Then you're gonna take the back part, put the back part through just right over this middle bar. Don't go over anything else. Don't go over this. You're gonna wanna keep the square part right about here you see how down here the square part is right down here go ahead and put the square part there and you're going to take the little end of the zip tie put it through there and then you're going to be able to shift this up and down a little bit if you want to but that way it's very very sturdy and the turtle will be able to come up if you need to take a closer look just pause the video and just copy how i have it here make sense Okay, you can see the zip ties under there. There's the little square thing, and these are sticking out underneath. Anyway, um, I'm gonna actually grab a pair of scissors, and we can clip off all this extra stuff on the zip ties. So we're gonna go ahead and clip these, because now they are all firmly in place, and we don't want all the extras. Clip them. Don't clip too close to the base of the zip tie. Just clip them right above, and you'll be just fine. So... 
that is that. That is the basking area. You will see it in action in a future video coming very, very soon. And it'll be using this in a kiddie pool for the turtles and just setting up a kiddie pool, letting them hang out outside, bask out outside. Hopefully they will use this. If not, that's kind of sad. But there is your cheap, economical, super duper sturdy basking area. You can modify this for larger turtles, for younger turtles. It ended up being about $16 maybe 17 18 dollars for this whole thing but anyways that is how you make a diy basking platform with pvc pipe and egg crate i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to drop a thumbs up down below subscribe if you haven't already check out my instagram i'm trying to post more on there at the turtle girl go ahead and follow me and i'll see you guys next friday have a totally awesome day bye bye i can't reach